Hey everybody, welcome to Southeast Harm Reduction Project, aka Sharp. I'm Jeremy, this is Rodney. Today we're going to be talking about the naloxone intramuscular injection, and it's going to wrap up our overdose reversal series. And Rodney, what are you doing? Get that out of there, you can't eat that. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Uh, we'll see you on the other side of the intro. to my library. Today we're talking about the naloxone intramuscular injection. I'm going to try and make it really quick. I'll flash the magic slide up there with Harry telling you uh, what all the opioids are. Heroin, oxycodone, oxycotton, Percocet, hydrocodone, Lortab, Vicodin, morphine, methadone, and of course the big one, fentanyl, which has been responsible for a lot of the drug-related overdose deaths we've been seeing in the southeast and across the country in the last few years. As always, you're also going to want to familiarize yourself with the 911 medical amnesty laws and naloxone access laws in your state. Most states do have naloxone access laws now. A lot of them have provisions that allow police to be equipped with naloxone, like we do here in Georgia. And sometimes in this situation, the police can be your friend if they show up before the EMTs. Law enforcement in Georgia has reversed at least 50 overdoses. So, so familiarize yourself with the laws in your area. The only two states in the southeast that don't have 911 medical amnesty laws are Mississippi and South Carolina. Yeah, Rodney's not happy about that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The number one sign of an overdose is unresponsiveness. Is somebody, if you call somebody's name and they don't respond, if they're drooling, gurgling, making snoring noises, if their breathing's really slow, shout their name really loudly a few times. If they don't respond to that, do a sternum rub where you get your knuckles in there and dig in really hard, and uh, that's really painful. If they don't respond to that, they're they're overdosing. So you're gonna want to spring into action. Uh, step one, always call 911. You don't have to say that somebody's overdosing, just say that your friend is unconscious, they're not responding, uh, please send help and give them your address. Do remember, some states have medical amnesty laws, and if the police do show up, you uh, have legal protections if they do find substances at the scene. And in some cases, they'll be equipped with naloxone and they can actually reverse that overdose. Step number two, uh, check their breathing. If their breathing's really shallow or they aren't breathing at all, go ahead and give some rescue breathing. And that's different from CPR. Rescue breathing means tilt their head back, pinch their nostrils so the air doesn't leak out, and give one pump uh, every four to five seconds, uh, and maybe three to five pumps just to get some oxygen in there, into their lungs and up into their brain. And then step three is go ahead and administer naloxone. So the kits that we hand out here in Georgia contain two doses of naloxone. Each one contains 0.4 milligrams, and they come in a bag like this uh, that also includes two of those really big syringes, the prescription, and uh, this one doesn't have it, but a brochure on how to recognize an overdose and what to, what to do. You're going to pop this little orange lid off the vial, take this syringe and take the lid off, and you can either do it this way or turn it upside down and do it this way like you see in the TV shows. Uh, and you've got to be really careful and make sure that you're actually drawing in liquid because there's not a whole lot of liquid in here. Make sure you get all that liquid out of there. And once you do, go ahead and you're going to want to stick this in their deltoid muscle right here or their thigh. And we're going to stick this in Harry's thigh. You want to make sure that you get it in a muscle. It doesn't have to be in a vein. You don't want to stick it in a fatty tissue. Uh, so we're going to stick, sorry about this Harry, I know that hurts, but you probably don't feel it right now. Boom. And that's it. If they don't respond in one to two minutes, go ahead and give another dose. But Rodney came out of it with the first dose. You also be sure that you called 911. If they don't have a pulse or heartbeat, you're going to want to give uh, CPR to get the blood pumping and get that naloxone up there into their brain. And then uh, the final step, and you want to be really careful when you're doing this, don't try to put the cap back on the needle like this because you could poke yourself and that's always a risk for disease transmission. Um, you're going to sit it down on the table and you want to sit the lid down on the table and then just guide the tip into, into there. And that's it. Rodney is back in business. <laughs> And as always, I'll include links in the description about how to get a naloxone rescue kit in your area. And as always, 
stay safe, practice harm reduction, and thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you.